Hi, my name is Roger Pobre, class of 2012. I'm in calculus, and today we're going to be talking about related rates. So here's the scenario. Philip is on top of a 10-foot ladder that's leaned up against a building. He has a partner that is six feet away, and we'll call that X. The wall distance on top of the, from the top of the ladder we'll call Y. And we'll call the 10 foot ladder C. And I'll explain that later. So if the ladder is falling down at a rate of four feet per minute, how fast will X be before it hits his partner? After drawing out your related rates problem, you're going to be labeling the givens. Step one, what are the givens? We have the ladder is 10 feet long, which is a constant and will be elaborated on later. We have his partner, which is a distance of six, six feet away. And lastly, we have the change of rate of the ladder falling down, which will be labeled as dy over dt. The reason why I'm making it a negative is because the ladder is perched up against the wall and it's falling. So the y will decrease, and as the y decreases, the x will increase. You will see why in a minute. And it's labeled as negative 4 feet per minute. For step two, we have to know what we're trying to look for. Step two, what are we looking for? We're looking for the change of x over time. So we're trying to see how fast it's going before it hits this partner, which can be represented as dx of dt. In case you notice, it's going to be the same units as the dy dt, feet per minute. So with step three, in order to solve your problem, you're going to have to find a relationship between all the variables and numbers that are given to you, which should result in a formula. So step three, what equation are we going to use in order to solve this? Well, as you can observe here, that it forms a triangle base. So 90 degrees, 30, 60, which we can use as the formula of the Pythagorean theorem which can be stated as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But you still want to use the same variables, so we're going to change these two to x and y. So now we reach the last step in order to solve for our equation. The last step work is to put all the pieces together. We have x squared plus y squared equals c squared. So how do we turn this in order to plug in what we have in order to solve it? Well, first we have to differentiate in order to find the rate of change. Before we differentiate the equation, we have to remember that c is a constant. So we're going to substitute the c for 10, which can just be said as 100 after you square it. Now we can differentiate the problem, which can be turned into 2 of x of the derivative plus 2y of that derivative. And the derivative of 100, which is a constant, is going to be 0. Now we have an equation where we can plug things in. So what we're going to do is 2 and our x is 6 of dx dt, is which is what we're trying to find, plus 2 of y. But what is y? Well, in order to solve, we're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem again. So we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And just plug it back in as x and y, which are represented as Squared. So after solving all of it, 
it should become up as y equals 8. So now we can plug in the 8 in for y. And now we have it, we were given a dy dt, which is negative 4 equals 0. Now we have something that we can solve for of dx dt. So after changing everything in order to solve and single out for dx dt, we have dx dt equals minus of 2, 8 over negative 4 all over after dividing the, the 2 and the 6, 2 over 6 should all equal to 64 over 12 feet per minute, which case notice can be reduced to 16 over 3 feet per minute. And this is the change of dx over dt before it hits Phillips partner. And there you go.